Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy. Welcome back to the part of my playthrough of Curse of the Hartford. This is a Minecraft horror map inspired by Resident Evil, and this is part six, I believe. In the previous video, we got a uh, one third of the Forbidden Room key, or the Forbidden Wing key, I suppose. In today's video, we're going to hopefully get another third of it by going to the library. We were on our way to the library last time and we got a little cut off by the enemies and so hopefully we can uh not get cut off by the enemies this time and also not get lost because i don't recall where i need to go is it through here it is nice okay perfect all right so oh i can break this have I always been able to break that? Oh my gosh, wait. Is that how I was supposed to get over here? Jeez. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna take this one out using my uh weapons. My my long range weapons. There we go. Alright. Um, and I'm just gonna mm, I, mm, we'll be fine. Alright, I'm gonna jump to here. That was kinda dumb. That was also kinda dumb. We'll just run through. It should be around here. I think we should have to go downstairs somewhere. Yes. And then here's the door. Perfect. This is what I've been looking for for a long while. Okay, and shortcut. Yes. Where does this shortcut connect us to? The cat room. I don't really know where this is. Okay, it's off of the uh, off the side room. Good to know. Okay, um, and then what's through here? Perhaps another shortcut? That's a brick wall. That's a casual brick wall. No, that's probably one of the biggest obstacles you could ever encounter in life. This is an actual brick wall. Okay, so we've got some stuff over here. Nothing in there. Oh! Oh, this also connects us to... The, uh, the kitchen area, I think. I believe that's what I was looking at right there. Alright, lights, elevator, both are on. That's good. Wouldn't want those to be off. What was through here? A chest for some shells. Uh, it shall be locked forever in the labyrinth. Alright, so it looks like that's a, that's a sign to go to the labyrinth. Here we go. Is this the labyrinth? Huge house, by the way. I hope they had a good housekeeper. Because there's no way they could keep this house clean without a good quality housekeeper. Or, perhaps, um, I don't know. I mean, dust is a, is a prevalent object. It's very hard to not make dust. Every, I mean, my room is filled with it, and I, I mean, I only sit like in the desk and stuff. I don't, I don't even do that much activities in my room. But yeah, the, I mean, there's just so much dust, dust and debris. Who's a fan of dust and debris? Nobody. Nobody likes dust and debris. All right, is this the labyrinth? All I see are a whole ton of traps. I suppose this could be a labyrinth because I hear you. Oh, there's a zombie on the other side. There he is. Um, oh, there's also one right here. Do this. Load. And then, I guess I should probably use my shells. Yeah. Break it. Break that. Break that. I just got caught in a cobweb. Alright. I opened up my second slot to be open, because usually I keep my second slot open. Um... Oh, it's another one of those writer guys. You again? Yeah, they're real scary. The horse is invincible, the horseman isn't. Aiming for the head can kill him. Don't care. He's kind of a pushover. Uh, you can kind of just, like, walk away. He's not particularly the scariest thing. His music is scary, though, because it's so loud. In my ears. Where are you going? I'm just gonna follow you, I guess. Oh, 
Hello. Don't mind me. Let me loot. What the heck? Oh, there's like traps. I triggered a trap on accident. All right, well, let's just keep looking. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to be blind. I don't want to be blind, please. Perfect. All right, so that loops us back around to here. I think if we go this way and hang a right. Um, yes, okay, wait. No, these are the stairs that we can go up. We can also go up those other stairs. We'll go up these ones first. Can you see why it is called the Labyrinth? I can see why it's called the Labyrinth. There's a lot going on. All right. Yeah, I'm just going... Oh, I hear his footsteps. I hear his... Oh, he's right there. Lovely. Um. Okay, nothing I can do right there. For in the meantime... I'm getting snacked on pretty regularly. Let's go through here. And he can... Oh, jeez. Okay. This is a little odd. I'm gonna have to drink my health kit. And we'll have to craft another one at some point. Okay, and then this is the, the other staircase. Oh. No, I don't want to be blind, please. Oh, jeez. Okay. I This area is not my favorite area so far. Um has not been the most fun to play through. Mazes? Oh my, what is the blindness? I'm just gonna push forward. Mazes are not, oh, okay, brick wall. Mazes have never been my favorite thing uh, when it comes time for, uh, for map design. I think he's suffocating. Yeah, he is. Mazes aren't the best for, for map design. I think if you have to rely on a maze, then you're relying on, like, hoping that the user just gets trapped for forever. I guess we can just wait until he, he goes away. I mean, it will happen eventually, right? He's losing health slowly but surely. Come back up this way. I'm right here. There we go. See, what is like this? This like random arrow drop is super weird. I don't see how that's related to much of anything. Also, I don't like the random blindness. It's like, am I solving a puzzle? If the answer is yes, I'm solving a puzzle, then let the puzzle speak for itself. If the answer is I'm running around an endless hallway, occasionally becoming blind, then why? You know? Yeah, I didn't go th through this hallway, but I don't know why this specific hallway. And the music cut out. Should I try and make this jump? Oh. Okay. The creature left part of a key behind with it. I have... I haven't the foggiest idea what I've just accomplished. I have half the key, so I'm leaving now. I have two parts of the key, uh, which is cool. I just have no clue what I accomplished in this session of the game. The section, I guess, not session. Let's just leave. And figure out what the heck just happened. Okay. Great. Um. Huh. What did that do? We never went through that section. Okay, like, a fence was removed. Which makes me think, like, oh, I need to go find wherever the fence was. But I don't know where the fence was. I need to go craft healing potions is what I need to do. Healing potions and ammo. Um, I guess we'll do another standard health kit. Oh, it's bandages. And we'll do a large health kit. Why isn't that working? Oh. Wait, bandages? 
this. Okay, that was weird. Um, okay. I won't use it now, I guess, because I can't use it now. Yeah, we need one more shard, part of the key. I'm guessing we have to go back into here. I'm guessing we've got to wander around until we find the, uh... Wait. Um... Where was it that you go? How do you get back to where I just was? Oh, was it? Oh, it's crossing. That's it. And then you go down. I'm guessing we'll need to, uh... We fall? Oh. I was kind of hoping that would be like a like drop into the like the next area, but but no. No, 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 no. Alright, yeah, we have to figure out how to get to that other side, I guess. Because it said, oh, the creature left behind part of the key, but this door is still unopened. And that... Okay, why is there like eight of you? I just don't know why there's eight. There's like three, but might as well be eight, right? And I keep missing my attacks. Okay, there we go. He's done. You know what, actually? Come out this way, sir. I have a lovely invitation for you. One, uh, okay, well, you gave me hunger. One trip to the bottomless pit. Enjoy. We're going to have to find that other area, I think. Let's just, I guess, explore. Oh, I could... Ride the vines down. That could be something. Alright, I don't think that's progress. I, I don't think there's a way to get over there. I don't know where that leads, but I don't think that's progress. I think we've completed the basement area for now. Which means we've completed a basement. What is this? We've completed a basement, and we've completed an attic. Which... Oh, well, we've been through this area before. Which would... You know, instinctively mean, okay, we've done a basement, we've done an attic. We need to do something in the middle. Something in the actual, like, middle floors. Where is this? Is this the underground tunnels again? Have we been here? Yeah, we had to have been here. Oh, it's the basement. Alright. I'm hiding in here because I hear zombie noises. Apparently the zombie noises were fake. And uh, we need to go back to the, the basement, like the, the, not basement. We need to go, we need to take the elevator. Not sure how you would know to do that. I guess just uh, wandering around. Um, but yeah, we need to take the, the elevator. And I don't know what happens there. I stopped the video at this point. I just saw the, the walkthrough go down here. So I said, okay, you know, there's like a, a good starting point, I guess. We'll go down here and, and I suppose see what we can find, right? Zombies. I'm gonna close that door. Just gonna close it. Was there like a locked door for us down here? I'll run through this section again. I've I've been through this section so many times because I would I was I was lost at, at one point, and so I was like, all right, I'll just run through this section over and over until I find whatever I'm missing, and then you drop down here. Okay. Nothing. No cyan doors. Okay. There's a guy, like a zombie. Actually, there's a guy. I forgot. There's like an NPC outside. Maybe we have to talk to the NPC. There we go. Let's go talk to the NPC. This was fruitless, I believe. Yes, no fruit. All right. Okay, music. You got to cut out now. Music. Cut out in three. Two, one. There you go. That's actually pretty well timed. Oh right, yeah, let's go chat with the guy. There's an NPC in this village. I don't think there was anything else for us in this village. Was there a cyan door in the village? I should be very careful with my inspection. Let's talk to this guy though. Oh, we can't. No, he locked us out. Oh, cyan door. Okay. You would have to have great memory to remember that. I didn't even know that door existed. Truth be told. But I suppose we learned eventually. And now we can continue the map. Alright. Can't go in there. Door's locked. Can go in here. Door is not locked. As it were. Um. Okay. 
we go. Um, just go down here, into here. Avoid the trap. Don't feel like squishing them right now. Unlock this. That's like a shortcut to the another. What? That's a dumb shortcut. Oh. Wait, that's nothing. That's weird. So many times I think I found something. Okay, church door mechanism. Church door security system. How to switch it. The Hartford Hamlet Troglodyte Church is perhaps the most unique church on the English coast. Colon. It is partially underground, and for that reason, it has been a safe haven during the Middle Ages. An old mechanism was unearthed and modernized lately. The stone statue in the front of the church is linked to the heavy door, which is unlocked only when the statue faces it. This way, the door can be shut tight, protecting the inhabitants during a raid. Nowadays, a mechanical contraption has been set to make it easier. To rotate the statue, pressing the switch in this cabin is enough to activate the system. However, the statue may be blocked during its rotation. Happens, pressing the button again continues the process. Okay, so it looks like it's like cut off, I suppose. Um, Alright, so we can push this button to rotate the statue like a teeny tiny bit. What? 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 I hope it doesn't take too long to unlock. This place will be flooded with monsters soon. What do you mean? Oh, they're like coming out of the water. Should I keep pressing the button? Um, do I need to keep pushing it or is it turning on its own? Oh, it's turning just very slowly. Okay. So I guess we're playing like COD Zombies now. Alright. Yep. Doing great. Give it up, guys. And is that that on? Is that on it? Did you get it? Nice. Okay, so I think that's an unlocked. Boop boop. Perfect. Okay. Button. Oh wait. Oh. I was probably I should have probably looked around a little bit. Oh, and part of the key. That's it. Finally this is over. I hope this place is safer. We have all three parts of the key. All right, far out. So we can just return to the, just return to the mansion, build the key and visit the forbidden section. Ladies and gents, I think I'm gonna end off this video here. So I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys turn my videos around. I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.